An Alabama representative is pushing for harsher penalties for shooting into cars and buildings. WKRG News 5's Jeremy Jones is joining us in studio. And those convicted could face a minimum of 10 years behind bars, Jeremy, if a new bill passes. Yeah, that's right, Cherish and Pete. State Representative Barbara Drummond sponsored, proposed the bill Friday. And this follows several shootings in Mobile that have claimed lives or injured innocent bystanders. It's a crime we hear about almost every day. Shootings into buildings and cars and sometimes hitting and killing those inside. The only tool that I have is to change the law. And, and I am so tired like so many others in our community. State Representative Barbara Drummond, along with Mobile County Sheriff Paul Birch, are pushing for a bill to make shooting into a building or car a Class A felony, which carries a minimum 10-year sentence. Under current law, shooting into an occupied dwelling is a Class B felony, and shooting into an unoccupied dwelling is a Class C felony. If convicted, offenders can serve two years or less. What this will do is give the prosecutor the ability to go and, and, and give them penalties so that they can't plea out. What is happening, these young people are so young and they're multiple offenses. They keep getting out and doing more and more offenses. I would say 99% of the time, the intended target is not the one who's hit. It's some innocent person either sitting in their recliner in the house or a child wandering through the house or even laying in bed at times. The family of Grace Carter supports the bill. Carter was killed in Pritchard while sitting in a church when a stray bullet hit her during Bible study. Her daughter Dee believes that this bill could save lives. We give all thanks and praises to God for this bill where we stand, my family and I stand behind it 100%. Um, and we're hoping that this at least saves one family from going through what we're going through. The whole point behind this bill is if you can get these thugs who are shooting into these houses and get them locked up before they finally commit a murder. And according to the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, Mobile County has seen 268 cases of shooting into occupied and un unoccupied dwellings in 2023. And we have those numbers and the counties in the News 5 viewing area on our website at WKRG.com. Reporting in the studio tonight, Jeremy Jones, WKRG News 5.